In this SNP, we'll have a look at SharePoint site policies and how to create one and apply it to the site collection. So here I am in SharePoint Online in Office 365, but that would be the same process if you were in SharePoint on-premises. So let's start by creating a new site policy. Once you're logged into your site collection, click on the gear icon and choose Site Settings. Under Site Collection Administration, you have Site Policies. And then click Create to create a new site policy. We're going to give it a name. You can also give it a description. And then we currently have three options. So the default is do not close or delete site automatically. This means that the site owner will have to close the site manually and the deletion will also have to be manual. The second option that we have is delete sites automatically. If you select this one, the owner will have to close the site manually and I will show you after where you can close a site. And from this moment, this will trigger the deletion of the site. And at the bottom, you can see that you also have the possibility to set the site to read only when it's closed. And this will apply to the root site and also the subsites. The third option, it's called close and delete sites automatically. Here you can create an entire workflow for the site collection where you decide when the site will be closed and also when it will be deleted. You can also decide to send emails, notifications, or even follow up. And the owner also have the possibility to postpone the deletion for the time that you decide below. There is also a fourth option that is available and it's called run a workflow automatically to manage site closure, but it's only available on specific subscriptions. So let's choose this option, close and delete sites automatically. If you use the drop down menu, you can choose days or months or years. So when do we want to close the site? We are going to choose six months, for instance. So just under six, are we going to choose months? Then how long before the site is actually deleted from the closing date? Are we going to put another four months? We can choose to send notifications to site owners to remind them that the site is about to be deleted. We also have some follow-ups. And we can also give the choice to owners to postpone the deletion for so many months or years. So I'm going to leave the default and I'm going to select the site collection will be read only when it's closed and I'm going to click on OK. Now the site policy has been created and we need to apply it to the site collection. So let's go back to the site settings. And under site administration, we have site closure and deletion. So like I mentioned earlier, this is where you would close the site manually if you had chosen not to close the site or delete it automatically. Under Site Policy, let's click on the drop-down menu and we see our new policy. Choose it to apply it and click on OK. And now the site policy is applied to the site collection. We can go back to Site Closure and Deletion and then we'll get some information. Note that the close this site now button is now available and you also have a date and time where the site will be roughly closed and deleted. Thank you for watching.